Hey, good morning. I thought I'd come in here and show you what my plan is for the day. It's getting warm in the solarium, about 60 or 70 degrees. And I thought I'd plant some seeds. But I came out to find that my tub was not in any condition to plant seeds. So I'm going to clean that out and show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are. I dug out the dirt and what I found was very interesting things in the bottom of this. I had forgotten, I thought I made them out of PVC pipe, but this one I made out of old um, juice cans, they're plastic cans. So what you're supposed to do is simply put those in the bottom, and I use both the top and the bottom, and I figured they were sturdy enough to hold it up. So there's three. Here's four, here's five. And then interestingly enough, I found this old, it looks like a single um, sir, a single um, thing to make smoothies with, but it must have broken. I don't even remember that thing. And so I'm gonna put that in like there and that'll hold it up. And then what we need, we need dirt right here oh we need three corners open don't we so this is just a half of one of those solo cups with holes melted in i used a, a soldering iron i think or something to put those in it smelled terrible so i don't recommend that really to breathe anyway um there's that and i put that in one corner and i'm gonna fill that up with soil and then I'm putting in the other corner, the other one. Let's see, arrange those a little bit better. Fill that up with soil, and now you can see I'm getting sloppy, and that means there's going to be soil in here again. The next thing that I do, here's the lid. I don't know if you can, I'm too close. Let's see if I can put it down and zoom back. Here's the lid, and I cut the rim off to try to make it fit into the inside to be the floor of this container. So, let's see. I see that when I put it in, there's a hole for this dirt right here to get by, but look at all that room there. And then there's a hole for that side to get dirt, but I didn't put it in that side. And then there's a small hole for the pipe. What happens if I turn this over? There, that one looks better on the top right. That looks better for the, right there, for the pipe to, to go in. And now I just need this corner to have soil in, like that. Now there's nothing holding up this side. Maybe you have to figure out how to put the balance in. I know this is a little Blair Witch. I'm sorry. It makes me carsick when I watch videos like this. Okay, but I still have lots of holes around there. So I think that's why I cut out this. But I, this is a long time ago. Maybe 10 years. This is an old piece of flooring. And... Let's see, I guess I'm going to have to flip this one over too. I must have put it on there just so that it would fit better all the way around. So that's in there like that. And now there's mostly, when I press down on it, there's not any real holes. Okay, so now I'm going to fill it with dirt and I'll come back. So here's the... Uh, solo cups i don't know why i cut them in half but i did this is one of my first ones i think and and it should be just a whole solo cup you put in here with holes what i'm going to do is stuff that down into there and since there's soil in the bottom that soil next to the water will wick up into the cup here and will bring water to the roots um whatever is growing in this box one more thing before I put the soil in, I think I'll put the tube in. This is a PVC pipe, and notice how it's 
um, not straight across, it's cut at an angle. That's so if you, if you put the straight end down, like this end, it would go straight down to the ground and water couldn't um, go down into the reservoir that we're making. So this will go in here and that'll be like, oh, well, I'll have to use two hands. That'll be like two inches of water on the bottom, maybe three, and the roots can then pick up water as they need. This is the only fertilizer that I could find that wasn't buried under the snow. So this is what we're using today, got down on mill and feed, and um, you're using it to start a field out in the back 40, I call it. But we're gonna use this today and hopefully that'll be good enough. Okay, so I'm feeling that soil as I'm putting it back in. And I can see the little white rocks, those are called perlite. I added those when I first made the box. I always add perlite because it, it's volcanic rock and it gives um, airiness, light, lightness. The soil doesn't get so compacted. But I noticed I didn't feel very much um, coconut husks or peat or something to keep the moisture in. And I'm, I noticed this, this box, the reason I'm with redoing it is because um, it produced tons of um, tomatillos one year, and two years ago, and last year there were none in this. And we had a good summer last year, so there's no reason. So I'm adding some more of this. You can get this in blocks down at Mill and Feed. And it's just made from coconut husks and I'm adding it so that the moisture will stick in. Now it really depends on what you're growing. Um, probably the tomatillos don't want a bunch of that stuff. They like their roots well drained, in my experience anyway. So I'm not gonna put in too much, but I am gonna put in some, just because if it's hot, hot summer, they're gonna, and I'm out fishing or whatever, they're gonna need some moisture. I could also tell I have compost in here or maybe I have some uh, worm castings um, because of this paper. Uh, I usually shred my paper for the worms and then I probably dumped worm castings in here last year to try to make it work. And this is food for the worms, of course. And it was outside, so there's a bunch of dead leaves that fell. And that's all good stuff for the soil. So I'm gonna leave that stuff in there. Okay, so here we are. I'm getting ready to plant seeds just so you see the rest of the solarium. Things are happening in here. So the temperature is right now at 60 degrees and I can plant watercress or peppergrass this is called from the crust family. And I also have watercress. These are both very, very old packages of seed. I'm not sure that they're going to grow, but I'm going to try it out because it, there's still lots of snow out there. And why not have some greens early this spring in the solarium? When I read the back of the packet, it says um, cover the seed only one eighth of an inch. And so it also says to broadcast the seeds. That means you scatter them with your hand and put them all around. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. They should sprout in two to five, two to five days. So I should know rather soon if these are too old of seeds. Even if some of them come up, it'll be worth it for a nice salad. So now I have my seeds in my hand and I'm just gonna shake them down into the soil so they kind of go around in different places. Oh, I can't do two things at once. The next step I usually do is I just pat them down with my hand so I know that they're touching the soil. I see that there's too many over here, so I'm gonna spread those out a little bit and just pat them down nicely. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this loose soil. Instead of trying to figure out what of an eighth of an inch is, I'm just going to scatter this on top of the seeds just ever so lightly and then pat it down again. And I just do that until I can't see any seeds anymore and then I will water from the top, that's kind of important. I have a spray bottle, so empty out some old um, cleaning bottle spray or something, Re wash it really good, 
and then just spritz them because they don't like to be drowned. But uh, so that's very simple and all you have to do is do that and you have a garden that you can leave for like, I don't know, depending on where you put it, if you put it out on your balcony or whatever, you can have this out there for three days without having to worry about it. Once the roots get established and everything, you just have to baby them while they're young. The other thing I would do if I wanted to use the plastic, you can always put saran wrap over the top and that kind of keeps them moist too so you don't have to worry about spritzing them all the time. But I like to come in in the solarium a lot and check on them so I'll probably not use plastic because I don't like plastic. So there you have it, an easy and simple way to have a, a container garden on your roof or your balcony or wherever you decide to put it. Okay, this is an update. You can see that I have lots of seeds growing in there. And um, I'm not sure if those are really the right seeds because here next to it is this box I didn't plant and I got chickweed coming out of there like crazy. So this might be chickweed, which is just fine. I put that in my smoothies. It's really healthy. But I didn't tell you once the roots get established how to water. So, ooh. so here we go. I'm pouring water into the tube and that's going to fill the reservoir at the bottom. The soil that we put in the cups is going to soak up into the bottom of the tub and spread throughout the whole um, soil so that all the soil will remain damp. All you have to do is watch down here. I forgot to tell you that. There's a little, we got just a piece of pipe that was hanging around and I put silicone and different things around there. It doesn't really matter as long as it's under that platform we built. Put that there and once it starts dripping out of the bottom, you know that you have filled the whole reservoir up. So it's not time these little seedlings won't have enough roots to reach the bottom yet. So I don't recommend this for lettuce really unless you have thinner soil, not so much. But if you have this tube, you can go camping, fishing, whatever on the weekend and you don't have to worry about your um, garden on the, on the deck or wherever you have this. The other thing I wanted to say that I forgot the other day is that um, when you put a lid over the top, you can cut the lid out. That's obviously the part that we used inside. But if you cut this off, you can put, um, if you're gonna put tomatillos for instance, you can put that fabric cloth over the top and cut holes just for your two tomatillo plants and then you won't get weeds. And the plants will grow above the, the fabric. So that's another little hack. 